Over the past three decades, the popularity and application of laparoscopy has increased dramatically. Many, if not virtually all, abdominal and pelvic procedures have been attempted by laparoscopy. Many times, the need for suturing cannot be ignored. The ability to suture proficiently is often what separates a good laparoscopic surgeon from an expert. We believe that once you master the techniques illustrated here, you'll be able to suture with confidence just as you would in open surgery. We cannot overemphasize the value of practice using a laparoscopic trainer prior to attempting these skills in patients. Several laparoscopic needle drivers are available, which you use as a matter of personal preference. As in open surgery, the use of instruments not specifically designed for laparoscopic suturing is not recommended. In general, when laparoscopic suturing is anticipated, we place at least one 10 millimeter port in the right or left lower quadrant. Standard 10 millimeter ports will admit a CT1 needle into the abdomen without difficulty. However, the type of valve system used in the port is important if one plans on performing extracorporeal knot tying. A flat valve system found on reusable and some disposable ports will be held open and allow the intraperitoneal gas to escape if tension is kept on the suture or a knot pusher is inserted. To avoid this, many disposable ports are available with a conical valve mechanism and these are much better at maintaining an adequate pneumoperitoneum. There are a few techniques to get the needle into the abdomen. First, the surgeon or the assistant can grasp the suture approximately 2 to 3 centimeters from the needle and introduce the driver and needle into the abdomen. A second technique begins with a needle driver in the surgeon's non-dominant hand. Grasp the heel of the needle with the tip of the driver and place the point of the needle alongside the driver as shown. The needle is then placed into the abdomen where it can be easily grasped with another needle driver. This technique can also be used with an assistant introducing the needle from the other side of the patient. Simply reverse the positioning of the needle prior to insertion into the abdomen. Correct needle positioning is perhaps the most important element that can make suturing easy or very difficult.